So I bought a Orico MD SSD enclosure and uh, I'm going to try this because this has a fast transmission rate of 40 GPS and uh, it's compatible with uh, Windows, Mac OS, Linux and or Android and you'll be using the SBME SSD. So we're going to make our own external hard drive using this one. So let's open it. So let's see what comes with this one. What comes with the box is the uh, enclosure and then uh, I think this is the heat sink and then a tool no? and also the cable. The cable is the uh, USB-C there to USB A, but also you can use it as USB C. So we will first put this aside and uh, let's uh, open this. Okay, so inside the enclosure is the uh, circuit no? that control it, the controller I should say now I'm going to put a Samsung SSD the 980 Pro because this 980 Pro is uh, very fast no? it could read at 7000 uh, MB so let's try to use this one What I bought is a 2 terabyte version. And, uh, okay. So, this is the SSD card. Let's uh, first uh, see what is on the box. Okay. What comes with the box is uh, a manual, no? A user manual. Okay. Now, to connect this, you have to look at the connection here, no? Uh, there's a notch here, and it is here. It is here, the notch is here. So all you need to do is to insert this. So insert this one here. We will double check to make sure that we're doing the right thing. Okay, and then we will insert it. All you need to do is just to insert it. That's it. And you need to screw it. It should come with the screw. Fortunately, there's no screw that comes with the box. This should come with the screw. So, I'm looking for the screw and I open it. And there it is, there's the screw. Okay, there's the screw. There's the manual also. And this is the heat sink. So, uh, we will look at the manual and we shall continue. So, the instruction for the manual is you have to use this memory card and then the heat sink here and then this one here. 
together before you connect it. Okay? So actually, the instruction is uh, you have to, before you insert it, okay? You have to do this first. The instruction is you have to put this one here, and then put this one here. Then you will insert it, paste, and the fin of the SSD. So we will do that now. of the heat sink is to absorb all the heat so let's uh, align it properly and pour with this thing other side of the tape okay then we will according to the instruction we will put this one here this should fit Now I was able to put the heat sink together. So the next thing in the instruction is for us to put it here. Okay, the next thing is to insert it. And then we need to screw it. Tightening the screw, you will now cover it. Okay, now we're done. We'll try to connect it to the computer. I'll try to clean this mess up first. Let's try to remove all of these things here in the table. Okay, we will clean the table later. And uh, next thing we will do is we will get the laptop. Okay, the laptop is here. And uh, we're going to use the going to use the USB-C, connect it here, okay. now we will try to connect this one to the USB-C connector and uh, let's wait, okay, it's asking to allow and we allow it. Okay, we have to initialize it. Okay. This one, you have to erase it. Okay. We will call this Samsung 980. And what is the format that we are going to use? Uh, for compatibility, I'm going to use this one. So I can use it for 
for uh, windows also. And after erasing it, it's done. So it's we are in, uh, initializing it. And here you could do first ed and let's run it and let's see if it's okay. Okay, it's okay. And then you could also partition it, but we're not doing it. Now let's look at the capacity info. There you go, two terabyte. Okay, so let's try to transfer a file. Maybe this video file. Let's try to let's try to uh, transfer a longer file. It's fast. That's a one one gigabyte file. And uh, it's, it transfers so fast. Okay. So uh, now it's working. I now have a, a new drive. Okay. I was able to successfully uh, install or uh, set up my new external drive. Now uh, we will be testing this. How much is the speed in the future? Now let's uh, close it and uh, reject it. Okay, very successful. So now I can remove this. I can remove this. So we're we're successfully being able to make our own SSD drive. So we'll try to run the amorphous uh, speed test. So let's try to run it. It's reading at uh, 3000 MB. Preparing to write 3000 MB. That is the default speed of the M1. MacBook Air. Now, uh, I will not try the other thing because I'm more curious on the Samsung. Okay, so for the Samsung, it's running at two thousand five hundred. And that's fast already. Writing is slow. Writing is below 1000. But reading is... Uh, so let's try to test all. Okay, let's uh, let it run the several tests for, so we will know the speed. 